take you on a trip down memory lane. Recently, the Fort Bend County Women's Center held its annual 50s and 60s boogie, a rocking good time dedicated to bringing awareness and support to women affected by domestic abuse. Vita Goodell provides us with what's hip about boogieing for a good cause. Boogie is a really fun fundraiser for Fort Bend County Women's Center. We really do it for three reasons, actually. One is to bring in money, obviously, to help run the programs. We have an emergency shelter and other programs for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault and their children, all with the purpose of helping them be safe and self-sufficient. So the money that comes from this goes straight to our programs and helps us run the Women's Center. Second, we do it also for awareness in the community. We want people to know that there is help there. It's free, it's confidential, we're here to help you. And so we love the opportunity to talk to people like Stafford TV and tell about what we do. And then third, and very, very important, is that it's just a really, really good time. We have people from all over the county who come and just have a great boogieing good time. It's 50s and 60s music, lots of entertainment, live auction, silent auction all with a purpose in mind. It takes several helping hands to put together an event like this. Nancy Calmanaris happens to be attached to a pair. She shares why she continues to stay involved with the Fort Bend Women's Center. I have chaired Boogie. This is my third year to co-chair Boogie. Um, and it's been a pleasure and a real honor to have been asked to do this again. The reason I've done it and continue to do it and stay involved with the Women's Center is because all the funds that we raise go back to the community and to help women and children who have been survivors of domestic and sexual abuse. Never been a victim, but I've known people who are and it's touched everyone uh, in a way that we will never know. And we never know who has been a victim until we get to have a conversation and it's always a surprise. So this is just a way of giving back and working with some of the best people that I've ever encountered who are volunteers and members of the Fort Bend County Women's Center staff. An event like this wouldn't be possible without the help of the community. Don Kerstetter talks about his involvement with the Boogie. Personally, I uh, have a heartfelt uh, uh, feeling for the mission of the Fort Bend Women's Center. It hits home personally, and so we love being able to support it. Uh, we also love the event uh, just because it's so fun. It's a ton of fun. It, it is a very laid back, relaxed event. We're able to raise a lot of money, and ev everybody is able to relax and enjoy the difference, which is our motto. Nancy and Don both agree that the boogie is a success. They share what they enjoy most about the community event. You know, of course, personality is always the great part. <laughs> but I think the best part is when we get into the auction and we start seeing everybody's enthusiasm and then what we've done and then to finally get our totals and say this is what we're giving back this year. So, um, and then just the overall feeling of being a part of a community and working with these great volunteers. My favorite part of Boogie is, is just the fun that everybody has, the atmosphere at the party it's, or at the gala. It's a fundraiser, but it's laid back. People can give money and really, truly enjoy themselves. They can literally let their hair down, come in costume if they wish, and just have a great time while they're doing a, a, a great service for the community. This event gives a lot, but it also takes many to make it come to life. Vita shares her thanks to all the volunteers and the sponsors. One of the things that we could not put Boogie on if it wasn't for our terrific volunteers, our fantastic sponsors, Classic Chevrolet is our presenting sponsor this year. We just love working with them. Our uh, Boogie committee is just lots and lots and lots of volunteers who come together and give their time and their energy and their creativity to make this happen. And we just appreciate what they do so much. For more information on the Fort Bend County Women's Center, visit www dot fortbendwomenscenter.org. For Stafford CSI, I'm Derek Hall.